Hello, my name is Caroline and I'm super excited to be one of the influencers introducing the brand new Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller board today. This video will be an introduction with my top 10 things you need to know about the Pico board. After I go through my top 10 lists, stay tuned and I'll demo two code samples on the Pico. Now let's get started. Number 10, the Raspberry Pi Pico measures two inches by 0.82 inches and at its thickest point with the micro USB connector measures 0.15 inches and features the RP2040 microcontroller chip. Number nine, programming languages for the Pico include C, C++, or MicroPython. Number eight, you can write, build, and load code for your Pico board from your Raspberry Pi 400, Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 3, Windows, or Mac computer. Number seven, loading your code to the Pico board is as simple as drag and drop via USB cable. Number six, the Raspberry Pi Pico board includes a temperature sensor, clock, and timer. Now let's talk specs. Number five, the RP2040 is the first microcontroller chip for Raspberry Pi and was named 2040 for its specs. Two for its two processor cores, zero is for M0+, four floors, and zero floors if no onboard non-volatile storage. Number four, there are 20 pins on each side and three pins for debugging on the bottom. 26 pins are multifunction GPIO pins, 23 of the 26 GPIO pins are digital only, and the other three pins are analog to digital capable. There are two SPI, two I2C, two UART, and eight ground pins. Essentially, this means that you have a variety of peripherals that you can connect, such as this I2C display, and or reading a temperature and humidity sensor. Number three, on the board you have a boot cell button and one LED connected to GPIO 25. Number two, you'll need a micro USB cable to power and transfer the code from your computer to your Pico board. You'll also need a soldering iron and header pins. And number one, because this is from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, the Pico is intended to be a tool for learning. Thus, they provide a plethora of code samples. Additionally, the brand new MicroPython book for the Pico also launches today. I will link to it below. And those are my top 10 things you'll need to know about the Raspberry Pi Pico board. This video wouldn't be complete without a couple of demos. Let me start a screen record on my Raspberry Pi 400 you can also use a Raspberry Pi 4, a Raspberry Pi 3, Windows, or Mac computer. Let's start with the Pico Raspberry Pi getting started page. I will link to this below, of course, but you see there is a really beautiful getting started page and it's got a ton of information on it. Welcome to your new Raspberry Pi Pico. And this is where you'll find a plethora of code samples. You can choose C, C++ or MicroPython. And just to get started, I'm going to show you C, C++. And our first project is to blink an LED. And it's got a little GIF here so that you can kind of see how it works. And you just need to download this file. All right, so I'll hit download. There it is. And if I go over to my downloads, there it is. There's the blink file. We're going to make this microcontroller blink. There is one LED. For this to work, all I have to do is I need to connect USB port on my Raspberry Pi 4. And then I'm going to hold down the boot cell button, just like it says in the instructions. And I'm going to plug it into my Pico. And then it should come up and say, hey, it's going to be a mass storage device. All right, so there it is. It is a removal medium right at the second. I'm going to hit cancel because I'm already on my file manager. And now I can see RPI-RP2. And now all I have to do is drag and drop a blank over to my microcontroller board. And now if you can see this, it is starting to blink. 
And that is project number one. That was super easy. I'm going to go back to the Raspberry Pi Pico page and the next project is called Hello World. As you can see, there is another file already pre-made for us. I'll download that file and I'll go over to my downloads and I see Hello World is downloaded. Now to load the file again, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to unplug it and then I'm going to hold down the boot cell button and I am going to plug it in again and I should see the same message pop up. All right, removal medium is inserted. I'll hit cancel, but I will drag and drop hello world onto my Pico and then it should just reboot itself. And don't worry about this message. That is correct. You should see this message. Let's see what we're doing with hello world. You'll need a terminal and you'll need to type in the command for Minicom. You will have to install Minicom. There are very clear instructions on the website how to do that. And I'll just hit enter and it says hello world. How simple is that? And those are the first two demo projects for your Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller board. And that's my top 10 things you need to know about the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller board. Thank you to the Raspberry Pi Foundation for allowing me to be a part of this historic product launch. Special thanks to Alex and Dr. Allen for your help and support. Please subscribe for more videos on the Raspberry Pi Pico board. I plan to continue to feature the Pico on my channel in the coming weeks and months. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.